Welcome to Style Forward, where we break down anything that has to do with style, from healthy eating to skincare. We cover it all in the style world. On this episode, we are diving into the world of hair extensions. Hair extensions accentuates beauty, because long hair on women brings out sex appeal. There's so many versions of hair extensions. We're here to break down the different types. We'll break down costs, the effectiveness, and lots more. The first type you'll see is called a three-quarter extension. It sits on the crown area of your head and it works pretty incredibly. Your real hair in front of your ears blends with the extensions and it wears very unnoticeably. Fully secure and looks fabulous. It takes seconds to put on. It's pretty cool. I'm a professional hairstylist and I see this as a great breakthrough. We have other forms of extensions that we'll show on this episode, so you don't want to miss this. We'll talk celebrities who are wearing hair extensions. We have a rep here from Lock Extensions on the show today. I have a hair extensions questions lined up for her. We'll talk about the pros and cons of hair extensions. A lot of hair extension talk. There's a new transition happening in the hair extension world. I would say as close as eight years ago, wearing hair extensions seemed taboo, unethical, wrong. Almost like how tattoos were not too long ago. Now, hair extensions have become more mainstream, like wearing false eyelashes. Everyone is doing it from black, white, Asian, Latino. And I say, why not? We all want to feel good about ourselves. If something like having full or longer hair will do the trick, then I say go for it. So now let's talk about celebrities and their hair extensions. Here's a comment made from by film hairstylist Sasha Quarles. When I take a yoga class in LA, I really see it on downward dog. The tape, the glue, bonds at the root, Everyone has hair extensions and not just celebrities. John Blaine, a celebrity hairdresser who makes custom extensions and has worked with Dita Von Teese and Janet Jackson, advises that no one should add more than four or five inches of length to their own hair. The longer it is, the heavier it is. The heavier it is. And the more it pulls. Yet the upside seems to outweigh the down. Such celebrities as Vanessa Hutchins, Holly Barry, Jessica Simpson, Linda Evans, Mindy Kaling, and Miley Savis have admitted to using them. Beyonce is rumored to haul around three trunks of custom hair to wherever she, to wherever she performs. They are made by her longtime hairdresser, Kim Kimball. Jessica Simpson's hair, uh, hair extensions at the Kim Pabes Salon rack up a charge of about 2,500. Linda Evans gets her hair extensions at Janelle and Co. in West LA. The price tag? At least $1,400. Editorial hairstylist Clyde Haygood, known for working with the Kardashian family and lots of pop and hip hop divas says, we've been putting three times the amount of hair on singers than they actually have for years. It started with wigs, went to falls, now it's small pieces that can be woven in. Film hairstylist Sasha Quarles also says, I can give somebody a totally new look for a scene with hair extensions in an hour. Chris Rock talked about hair extensions in his 2009 documentary, Good Hair. In his documentary, he interviewed black men about women they date and their hair extensions. The men responded, and I quote, black men know never to touch a black woman's head. Those weaves cost too much, end quote. These days, it now applies to women as a whole. Peeny Bensican, the Beverly Hills wig and hair extension maker says, it's so expensive, now it's, now it's status to have them. It means you can afford to spend that money. Both the tape and glue fixing methods, which last a month or more, are quite popular and more affordable, costing hundreds of dollars as opposed to thousands and can be removed by a gentle application of oil. The hair itself can be reused for up to a year. A popular, apparently safe and pricier method is the keratin bonds. Taking on, taking an individual strand with a keratin strip attached to the end and wrapping the tip around a piece of your real hair, an inch off the root. Heat is applied, but it shouldn't go above 230 degrees Fahrenheit. That's where the damage comes in. A lot of people let the heat get to 500. Past 350, you could be ruining your own hair. 
An acetone-like solvent loosens the bond after it's been worn for two or three months. Sessions cost $1,800 to $2,500. And unfortunately, you can't reuse bonded hair. So we have our hair extensions here from Hair Razors. This one is um, called the Half Head Hair Extension, which will be placed right over here. Super quick. You can do it yourself at home. I love it. So we're going to demonstrate that now. Okay, so what we're doing to prep for the uh, three-quarter piece hair piece from Hair Razors is we're going to put a profile guide all around from behind the ear to behind the ear. And we're going to keep this forward. And we're going to do with the rest of it. So what I'm going to start doing now is normally what you would do is if you have hair that's thick enough and textured enough is you would just put an elastic, roll it, and bobby pin it in. But with, with Emily's hair, it's more finer and not as textured. So what I'm going to go in now is I'm going to use our Pantene product, our dry shampoo first, and I'm going to go in section by section. And I'm just going to spray the root just to give it some texture. I'll go in with the light flexible holds from Pantene. And I'll go in and what I'll start doing is I'll start teasing each section. Just going in, teasing a little bit and just a light spray. We're gonna bring this back down. Now we, uh, we create a nice base for ourselves. We're gonna obviously make that look prettier using our mason. So we create a nice base for ourselves so that the clip could stay. And it's okay if the bumps is there because it's not gonna be seen. And we're gonna put an elastic, just like you're doing with a ponytail, you put an elastic on it and you come around one more time around and then what you do is you take this you give it a spin tie it to the head you give it a spin twirl it on itself and just come in and just give it like a little quick bun and then you come in with one two or three bobby pins just to get that in there so that's secure and then we'll get our headpiece our three quarter from hair razor and we'll come in from the bottom, we'll start at the bottom, and we'll just attach it to the bottom, and then we'll come on top. So there's two clips on the bottom, and there's two, and one big clip on top. So this will grab onto the bottom of your hair, and this will come right to the top of your hair. And it gives it such a, a resistance, which helps a lot. Okay, so that's secure. So then what we'll do is we'll come in with some dry shampoo, and we're gonna blend. Since it looks synthetic, you need to come in with the dry shampoo to make it look more real and remove that look of synthetic. So what you wanna do is just come in with your Pantene dry shampoo, spray it around, give it that realism. And what I could suggest also is if you want, you can come in on the sides because obviously this is all gonna be covered. You see here, you can just take a bobby pin and you can give it a little hidden little clip right here. Now what we'll do is we'll bring Emily's hair in the front back and again we're going to spray it so we can blend it all together look like it's one piece. Now what I like to do is I like to come in and just start teasing the roots a little bit. Tease a little bit. And what you want to do is just hit it with a little bit of hairspray, not too much. Go from far and there you have it. All right, so here you have your final look with the three-quarter headpiece, hairpiece from Hair Razors. As you can see, it's all blended in. You can come to the back and you can look how beautiful it looks all together. And with this, I mean, you could do tons of styles with it, braid it, fishtail braid it, however you want to do it. All righty. So here we have the Hair Razors line called Secrets, and it's the crystal color. And what it is, is a ponytail hairpiece. So I'm going to demonstrate the ponytail. Ponytail's right here. And what I'm going to do now is, again, we're going to section off the, the profile guy, which is going to go behind the ear from one side to the other. I want to keep some of the hair around her, her head out with the ponytail so it looks more blended. Similar to what we did with the um, three-quarter from Hair Raises hair piece, we're going to take a circumference piece here. We're going to take it out. What you do is just take it out. And then you just twirl it onto itself and bobby pin it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom. What you got to do is you got to bend it a little bit so you can get in between the teeth. What you do is you bend it in so it opens up the teeth of the clip. 
And then again, you bend it in here so you can get inside and you go in. There you have it. For more reassurance, for more security on the hairpiece, you can just add two simple bobby pins, one on this side. It won't show in the final result when your hair is finally done. Just go inside, grab some of your hair, and just stick it in and do the same thing on the other side. We take our comb, we come in, and we're just gonna blend everything together. And for realism, you're gonna take your Pantene dry shampoo, since it's synthetic hair, you're gonna take out that shininess from the synthetic hair. Okay, so here we have the final result with the ponytail from Hair Razors called Secrets Crystal. And I put a little design, a little nice little bump on top. It looks nice, but look how long and beautiful it looks. And you can move it around. You can bring it forward in front of her hair. And it looks really beautiful. All right, there you have it. Okay, so we're, we're gonna talk about the clip-on extensions from Hair Razors. And this is the pink label series. And we're gonna be placing these, uh, these clip-on extensions on Emily's hair. And we're gonna start with the first section being right here, right by the bottom of her neck. And what you do is before you put the extensions on, you just tease a little bit so you will get some gripping. And I'm a big fan of just a little bit of spray too. So we're gonna use a little bit of Pantene spray. We're just gonna hit it just a tight bit because what it does is it, the, hair, the hair spray would dry onto the tease and just help fortify, fortify your hair extensions onto the, your head. So the first clip will go in. They snap in super easy. Okay. So the next section is going to be just on the, the back of the, in the middle of the ear. And we're gonna clip this away. And you're doing the same thing as you did in the first section. You're gonna just tease the area that the clips are gonna go into. Quick tease. And I'm going to spray it. Just light spray with Pantene hairspray. And I'm going to bring the clip on to her head. And try to make it flush. Don't leave any bubbles inside. Give it a nice tight pull of the extension so that you're not gonna see any bubbles at the end, any bumps. So we're gonna do the same thing on the next section. All right, so here we are. We put the clip-on extensions from Hair Razors on Emily's head. Now, as you can see, it looks flat. What you could do is you could spray dry shampoo on it, get it more lively. You can curl this and make it look more blended with the rest of your hair. Now, if she turns around, you can see it's been clipped on. Everything looks flush and beautiful. And again, you can cut these as desired. You can have your, your hairstylist cut these and to make it look like layers and all that. Right now, this is the beginnings of the hair extensions. It's gotta be blended in correctly. So there you have it, beautiful. So we're here with Veronica from Locks Extensions. She's a representative from Locks Extensions. And she's going to demonstrate today with our model, Emily, a beautiful placement of her extensions on her head. You can't miss it. It's going to be amazing. But before we do that, I'm going to ask her a series of questions that will help you, the viewers, and help any hairstylists that want to get involved in doing hair extensions. All right, so the first question I want to ask you is, tell me a little bit about your hair extension company. Sure. So Lox Extensions is a premier brand that was collaborated by Kristen Inello and Ralph Bianchi, who are a hairstylist and a salon owner who worked hand in hair to really understand client needs and hairstylist wants. So we have permanent extensions and we also have clip-ins and we also have Lox Studio, which was launched with HSN in November. Um, so it's a great option um, for people who want a less permanent decision. So who are your clientele? What's, what's the age range of your clientele that want your hair extensions? Um, our clientele can really range from anybody who wants extensions. Um, usually our clients range from 20 to 55 years old. Oh. How many hair strands of a hair extensions does a client need for a full head of hair? Okay, so in our permanent line, we have wefts. Um, you would just need one pack of wefts. Or for clients with finer hair, we use single strand beads, which are 
a full head would be like 70 to 100 strands. Wow, okay. How long does a full head last? The hair will last about three to four months. A lifting service does take place every four to eight weeks. Um, and that's great because it does protect your natural hair. It's not damaging. Okay. Um, with other brands, the further away the weft or the bead gets away from your natural hair, it risks matting and damage to your hair. Gotcha. And are they reusable? When you remove them, can you reuse the same hair strands? Yeah, it depends on how well you take care of the hair. Um, if you really take care of it, the hair can last up to like four months. Okay, and how should they take care of the hair? The extensions don't get the nutrients and oils from your scalp that your natural hair gets, so it's really important to keep them hydrated and healthy. Uh, we suggest um, using a conditioning mask, sulfate-free shampoo, getting a silk pillowcase. We have a whole list of tips on how to keep your extensions healthy. Okay, on your website. On our website, yep. Great. So how long does it take to get a full head of extensions? Well, what's great about LOX is it only takes about an hour to two hours to apply a full head. Wow. And other companies can take up to eight hours, yeah. so it's really a time saver. Yeah, and I noticed um, the way they are from watching your videos and everything, I mean, you put your fingers through it and you don't feel any beads. The way you guys set it up, there is no feeling of beads in it. It just feels like you just have natural hair. It's all your hair. Yes, it's really great. It does feel light and natural, um, and it's a really great option for people who want longer, fuller hair. Great. So is there a strategy that goes into placing the hair extensions? Do you change your placement according to different body types, larger body types, skinnier body types? Yeah, what's great about our extensions is they are customizable for the client. Um, so if somebody has a smaller head or a larger head, you can really place them based on what is going to look good for their hair texture. How are women spending their money on hair extensions this summer 2014? Big budget hair extensions, small budget hair extensions? Women are spending money on looking good. You know, selfies are huge right now and social media really makes everything all about looking your best. Yeah. So um, we're doing a lot of trend applications like ombre or fashion shades and pastels. Okay, advice on how, how to go about shopping for hair extensions? I know yours are the best, but like how about the glue ones, the tape ones, the keratin, the clip-ons, the sew-ins? Is there a strategy behind it? What's your take on all the other ones? Okay, um, we tell our clients to do your research. We just want you to pick the best that would be best for you. Um, the great thing about locks are that the beads are not damaging to your natural hair and they're not as expensive as some other brands just because the hair is reusable for up to four months. So uh -huh. um, with other brands, you you know, the hair goes in and it grows out and then you have to replace the full head. So uh -huh. it, is, it is good for people who are concerned with budget as well. Yeah. So tell me about your tips on maintaining your hair extensions. Let's say if they're a swimmer, they're sweating a lot. They're getting a lot of heat exposure. Let's say they're going in the Caribbean. Like, what 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 should they do? What's what kind of tips can you offer that? Okay, so our hair, we recommend really keeping it hydrated. So having a hydrating mask um, before you do any outdoor sports or if you're going right. swimming, um, and it's also good to just kind of treat them like better than you would treat your normal hair, I guess. Right. <laughs> so right. um, sleeping in a low ponytail, not really pulling on them, um, washing your hair as little as possible, maybe investing in some dry shampoo instead of washing so often yeah. would really c help keep the integrity of the hair. Are there any new hair extensions you have that's creating a buzz or any extensions you know of that are picking up steam in the fashion world? Um, yeah, we have, Lox has um, something really cool up our sleeves, but I've been sworn to secrecy. <laughs> so Tell me. I, I can't. <laughs> um, but um, you can check out our websites in the fall and also hsn.com will have oh, wow. some exciting stuff for us too. Great, can't wait for that. That's yeah. Cool. Do you sell uh, ponytail attachments, pre-made bun attachments, or any other items besides the hair extensions? Yes, Lox actually, we have toppers, bangs, ponies, wow. clip-ins. We have whatever you want, we have it for you. So That's it's great. really great. What's your take on how hair extensions have become as big as they are and as every day as they are? Is it helped by Hollywood? Absolutely. Um, fashion starts trends and, you know, with um, social media, it's really easy to see what the celebrities are doing. Oh, yeah. And I think that... Um, women empowerment has really been 
influential in the last couple of years and you know women just want to feel beautiful and if it means getting extensions that's okay and I think it's great that that's the way that we're going right now yeah I'm all for it I mean why not do you ship your hair extensions all over the world how does that work if a client is interested in buying your extensions and they don't live in the area that they can purchase it Right now we only ship to the US, but you can go online and check out our shipping options in terms of if you don't live somewhere where, you know, Lux is present, we can ship them to you as long as it's in the US. Great. So is it good to have friends and family help on the decision making of purchasing hair extensions? It seems like a big decision. It is a very big decision. Um, and you know, we just want our clients to feel beautiful. Um, you're beautiful because you think you are and because you you know you do things for yourself and what you do with your hairdresser is between you and them your family doesn't really need to know unless you know unless you want them to yeah take charge <laughs> for clip-on extensions what would be the storing room temperature for them when they're not in use um we recommend keeping them we say like they're goldilocks so not too hot not too cold and we actually uh sell a storage bag that comes with oh, your extensions okay. so that when you're not wearing them they stay nice and smooth that's a great idea all right so locked extension this is veronica you can check them out on lockstudio.com or locked extensions with the s dot com their phone number is 888-569-0110 oh. Uh, they're open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Their email is info at LoxExtensions with an S dot com. So uh, we're going to watch the demonstration and we're going to see the full result at the end. And let's see how it works. So you're basically thinking about starting in the back, right? Yep, we okay, always great. start in the back. All right, so we want to take a section from the top of the head to behind the ear and you want to section that out. And the first section is really just right below the ear. So on Emily, we're going to be using wefts and single strands. And the wefts come like this. And that's great because every client's head is different. So you can really customize your application. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna measure. You always want to leave at least a half an inch to an inch outside of the hairline just to make sure that the locks aren't visible. Okay, so how locks work are every weft and every single strand comes with a brown loop and a clear loop and basically the hair is double looped through so it really gets a good grip on the hair while you're um, putting the extensions in and it allows them not to slip while the client wears them if they, you know, wash their hair or they're active or anything like that. It really gets a good grip on the hair and it doesn't damage the natural hair. So we start by taking the hair through the brown loop. And then we take the brown loop through the clear loop. And then we just pull the clear loop through. And we tighten it close to the scalp. I'll make the black one here. And then we just tighten the bead. It creates a secure. And that's the showing of the bead. Mm -hmm. So basically, you tighten the bead inside and it's secure. Now, how should they prepare their hair prior to this? Before getting extensions, um, before using our webs for single strands, if you get them done professionally, when you go to the salon, um, your hairdresser will wash your hair twice and no conditioner, no products, because then the beads will slip. Okay. So then I'll take my next section where the bead is. Again, we start with the brown loop. Pull it through. And 
then double loop it with the clear loop. She hasn't seen her hair yet, um, Emily, so she's about to see it now. We have a mirror right next to the camera, and she's gonna react to how it looks. One, two, three. What do you think? Oh my God, there's so much hair. It looks great. That's awesome. And it feels so natural, like it's so light. Yeah, right, there's no pulling or anything like that? No, it's not. Awesome. Looks great. All right, so let's, Veronica, tell me a little bit about what you did with her hair. I know you cut her hair also. Sure, yep. We used, on Emily, we used the permanent extensions from Locks, and we used a couple wefts in the back and some single strands on the side. And then you gave her a haircut, right? And then I cut it, yes. And what did you do with the haircut? Um, with her haircut, I just blended uh, her natural length with the extensions to make it look natural and like it's her real hair. Yeah, so when the, when the extensions go in, you have to... Um, Get a haircut because it might look a little different from your real hair. So you do need you need, do need to blend in your real hair with the extensions. But once you do that, as you can see with Emily, they look phenomenal. So check out LocksExtensions.com and you can take a look at the website with all different color hair. The jewelry here is supplied by ElectricPicks.com. Thank you for supplying the jewelry. She looks amazing, rocked out. Wow. I mean, you can see the before and after picture of her. And like, what a difference on the before and after picture. Thank you for watching this jam-packed episode of Style Forward. I hope you enjoyed the show and please stay tuned for future episodes. Like our page and subscribe to our page and also follow us on Facebook at Style Forward Show. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can email us at styleforwardshow at gmail.com.